I have cherished the idea of a democratic and free society. It is an idea for which I am prepared to die. Democracy, freedom, inclusion. Principles the African National Congress was built upon and Nelson Mandela was prepared to die for. The party embodied the hopes of millions. Today, few people associate the ANC with democracy, transparency and moral conscience. You, you can't be a party member and you vote with your conscience. These days, the ANC prefers the appearance of unity to real democracy in its ranks. Now that Zuma has been ejected, the ANC has closed ranks. The official line is, he did nothing wrong. The ANC does not wash its dirty laundry in public. Out in the provinces, dissent within the party seems to be tolerated even less. Dalton Mokwena from Bushbuck Ridge, Mpumalanga, joined the ANC when he was only 15 years old. He grew up with no water supply or decent roads. He hoped the ANC would address these problems. Progress was frustratingly slow. In 2009, national ANC leaders came to Bushbuck Ridge. The reason why the NEC visited this region is because they want to hear whether the ANC municipality is uh, delivering services to the community. We've been instructed to say, must say yes instead of no. Then I said, no, 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 I'm not going to stand by telling the leadership lies. After refusing to tell the line, Mokwena was warned not to come back to ANC meetings. During the general council, I swear I was beaten. I was so. It's not belong to the ANC. It's not. Let's do something. We can't wait. Mokwene is not the only ANC comrade in Pumalanga to be silenced. Former municipal speaker Jimmy Moklala was killed a week before he was due to testify about tender irregularities in the two billion rand Mbombela Stadium. The Bombela Stadium is a precursor to uh, a gangsterization of politics. Paul Holden wrote a book about corruption in the arms deal. He believes party leaders use their power to avoid prosecution. A lack of accountability destroys democracies, whether it's criminal accountability or political accountability. And this is an example of both coming together. Investigative journalist Tom Nkosi says that service delivery is directly compromised to reward politically linked entrepreneurs. This issue of water is not being addressed very deliberately because when you have to supply water through water tanks, it's treated as an emergency. What it means is that you don't have to go through due tendering processes. Mokwena and his comrades decided to go it alone and form their own movement. We said we are no longer going to join any other party. It's where we started this organization, BRA. The Bushbuck Ridge Residents Association won several municipal wards and has a seat in the Mpumalanga Provincial Legislature. It has fought to maintain its independence from outside influence, especially business. We don't have a fund. We only have people. Unlike in the ANC and the DA. Leading ANC donor Robert Gumede approached Bra to strike a deal. Mr. Gumede said, I am Robert Gumede. I am the oxygen of Mpumalanga. Then he wanted me to come back to the ANC. If donors can offer money in return for appointment to party lists, who is the party accountable to? NGO My Vote Counts believes parties must disclose all their funding sources to prevent corruption. But most parties are reluctant. The decision about whom to support and who to give money to is essentially a private decision. The ANC is not shy to suggest that business can get ahead by funding the party. If you don't invest in the ANC, your business is in danger. <laughs> in Bushbuck Ridge, despite intimidation, Bra remains unshaken. The Bra office were demolished by the MEC under the leadership of Premier Didi Mabuza. Why? They want to kill Bra forever. <laughs> 